Hey, I'm Eric Haugen. Check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website. Information about exactly what sound tools I'm using, including this. Uh, what is this? One of the new Squire Jazz Masters, the 40th anniversary. Nice guitar, available for sale at my friends, twinhousemusic.com. Yeah. Okay, television. Let's, let's try and unpack some of the things that make television great. One, Tom's guitar parts. One of the things, if you want your band to sound like television, to do would be, instead of just kind of wildly... <laughs> ...freely strumming, uh, one thing I noticed that, that Tom definitely does is be very decisive about the rhythms that you play. <laughs> so what that is, by the way, this is Tom Petty's Free Fallen. <laughs> Right? So I was like, that'll be a fun game to play. Let's take a Tom Petty song. I love Tom Petty. And imagine what if television did it. So that's just a D power chord. I think you can see that. And yeah, there's our A7 sus4. Here's A. Bring out that sus4, that third fret of the B, and leave that G open. But I'm only getting these three. And notice that rhythm. I'm stopping it with the back of my hand in between. I'm not going, you could. It would be more Pete Townsend to be like. But yeah, there's something Tom would have done. Maybe, perhaps, kind of, sort of. Now, let's look at what Richard Lloyd maybe would have done. And through the magic of editing, now we have a Strat. In the uh, neck position pickup, you could have gone bridge. I was, you know, I was feeling neck. And so, yeah, there's a little fiddly bit here, major pentatonic. That's, you know, five and seven on the high E. But I think, you know, one of the things that makes television great is the jangly dual guitar interplay. So what that is... That's all Mixolydian. I think I'm going to spend all month talking about Mixolydian. I think all of March is going to be Mixolydian March because it's pretty important. It's a pretty big deal. It's, it's throughout all music. It's a long word, scary, but anyway. To be able to do this, you have to know what the Mixolydian scale is. It's a major scale with a flat seven and be able to find it on each string. Very Richard Thompson also. And so what we got here, I'm droning in with this O7 seven and 7, which is, there's a D chord. Which, don't you hear? You know, it's sort of very gently implying free fallen. And then I don't. <laughs> and then I let it get a little bit weirder. Slide out of that. D down to this C with fifth fret using that open E string landing on that third fret and then final phrase and then a little so it's kind of four phrases in one that's just an octave leap and then there is, you know, there's the A7 sus4, because here's an A, here's an A, these are caged shapes. Go to my website to check out my caged courses, uh, book lessons with me, or support me on Patreon. That's how I make my living. Um, I have a new one out, all about improv. Pretty stoked about that one. And yes, there actually is some Mixolydian stuff in that improv course. But okay, the last little bit. That's straight out of uh, friction. He does that on the E7, I think, actually. Oh, wait, now I forgot where he puts it. And you must have been to the sound pit. Yeah, he does that one. That grab on the E. Now, 
Now, by the way, I didn't do a specific television song for today uh, in my homage because they're out there, man. Everybody, Adrian's done some. I've done some. I, I found another dude who did a really good one for Friction. So the, the songs are knowable unknowns. So that's why I'm like, well, let's, 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 let's do this instead. Nine, eight, ten, which is an E, a G, and an A. Which, yeah, is, is, it goes with that. The interesting thing is I pushed Free Fallen, you know, Free Fallen isn't actually Mixolydian, right? No, it's just straight up proper, but, you know, to make it television, that's, yeah, that's where that... And of course, you could double track that little jangly riff, but yeah, there's the two guitars. And of course, should be noted, Tommy Ficka, always doing really interesting, busy things on the drums, kind of jungly. He does that a lot. And then Fred Smith on bass is often, while Richard is doing, he's finding a way to do some kind of counter melody too. So like part of the magic of television is that it's actually pretty busy, um, but it all works. And now, let's do one of these magical edits one more time and get my trusty old Mustang out. And then, you know, typically on a great television song, there would be that, that great lead would come in, which is totally one of the Richard Lloyd things is blues and mixolydian. That, that you know, which is a great place to play. And so that's what we're going to be talking about all month, basically. <laughs> All right, so here's a D, you know, D bar chord. Here's our D. Minor pentatonic, you know, blues. Or sorry, blues has the flat five. Okay, slow down. Here's D mixolydian, major scale with a flat seven. And so we come in there with that bend on that 12. There it is. And then, you know me, I like to repeat little ideas I had. So there I am. This is now out of this position of D major pentatonic or mixolydian, whatever you want to think of it. Marky Moon, yeah. Um, so that little lick there. Just a little bend on that nine. And then, and then go back to the blues. Bend on that 12. So again, that first little connection of phrases. Cool. And then this is very Richard Lloyd. Bringing in that flat five. 12, 13, 10, 13. You know, that's a lot like... You know, uh, from Friction also. But that lick. There it is. That's a cool lick. And then I literally, if you listen close, this is Free Fallen. She's a good girl. So that is now back to major pentatonic or mixolydian, all the way up here at the 15. 15 and 17 with some bendy. Back to blues. You know, 13 and 10, so again. Yep. Back to mixolydian. And that gets into that flurry thing that, that Lloyd would do back then. He, fast little flurries of notes there I am that's the G the fourth of the key that is also my eighth fret and then you back to blues down here let's look at that kind of second half there Kind of see how I'm repeating the motifs. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da -da -da. Okay, so let's take it from. No, let's, one more time. Watch out. Yeah, so we got seven, five, seven, five, five, which again, 
there's a D blues down there. But then back to Mixolydian. You know, five, seven, nine. And then I snuck in a little. But that's the same as this lick, isn't it? It is just down an octave lower. You know, six, seven, four, five. Random open E, which is funny, without that D droning, you can't hear what it does. Jangle, 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 jangle. So yeah, there you have it. There's how I would maybe, maybe. Uh, I think the point of this is, if you're in a band, cool, good for you. Being in bands is fun. Um, some interesting food for thought about guitar parts, about be, deci you know, be decisive with the rhythm and then be jangly with the other layers, but then also the drummer and the bass player. You know, drummer, be jungly. Bass player, kind of find your spots around the Richard Lloyd parts, and viola, you'll sound just like television. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, even if it's just clicking. Like and subscribe, that keeps me in business with the algorithm relevancy. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.